Howdy folks, Spencer here, and I want to follow up on the video that I did last week regarding a temporary fix for the visual effects spam. And basically in that video, I talked about a, a set of keybinds that players had found that you could use to disable certain visual effects. Now, there were some questions as to whether or not Cryptic would allow that to remain long term. But the developers have now stated publicly on Reddit that they do not consider this keybind an exploit and will probably continue to leave it. So with that now being publicly allowed by Cryptic, the folks over at SRS have come out with a new tool called Vertigo that will allow you to select which visual effects that you want to remove and it will help you create the keybind that you will load into the game to disable those visual effects. So I'll have a link to this in the description, but I'm going to walk you through how you would set it up right now. So when you go to the Vertigo page, you actually need to go and hit this button to get a copy of the sheet. And once you're on this Google page here, you're going to go up to file and hit make a copy. This will put a copy of this in your local Google Drive account so that you can modify it. You're going to check this box to, to state that you're using the sheet and you're going to go through the list of abilities they have here and uh, select what you want to remove and what you, you don't want to remove. Now, you can't go through and use every last ability here uh, or s select every last ability here to to remove the visual effects for. There is a limit to how many things can be on the command. I think it's like a thousand characters. So you need to just go through and select what you don't want to see. So if you don't want to see the agony field generator on ground, you could just go through and check that. If you don't want to see anti time or ball lightning on ground, you'd go through and check that. Same for lava floor. Now, most of these, of course, are set for space. And uh, the ones that I'm going to demonstrate today in a map are Beacon of Kalis, uh, the Nadarian, the jellyfish, uh, purple AoE thing that we all just absolutely love. Then Neutronic Eddies, that's the purple, like the the four purple space tornadoes that you'll see around people. Uh, so I'll go through and do those and let's see what happens with the tag team one. So I've selected the abilities that I want to go through and uh, have removed. And I can change the key that I want to have in game to activate this. So let's say I want to use F9 instead. I would just change it to that. Now, something you need to keep in mind is this keybind, whatever you set it to, needs to be used uh, every time you start the game up if you want to remove these visual effects. So just keep that in mind if you know you're you're wanting to uh, actually go through and use this. So now you need to copy the text from this cell here. You can do so by just clicking it and then doing a control C or right clicking and copying. Open up your STO folder. You'll see, you know, live and then play test. Live is for holodeck, play test is for triple. I want these keybinds to go to live. So I'm going to cl click live here and I am going to uh, right click in this folder then and I'm going to put in a new text file. I'm going to name this VFX. Uh, we'll just name it, leave it at VFX because that'll make it easier to type in the game. Now I'm going to go in and click on that file I just made, the text file. I'm going to control V to paste the commands that I just got from the, the spreadsheet. And I'm going to save. And that has now created that keybind. Now, if I want to load those in game, what I need to do, I need to is go to my chat window and I need to type slash bind load file. I named it to VFX dot text. Remember, it's a text file, so include the dot txt after it. So I'm going to do that. 
And now uh, I did that on ground. You may need to beam up and do that on space. I'm going to go and beam into a patrol now. So I can see how this actually impacts the, the visuals once I have this turned on. So I'm going to re-enter that command now that I'm in space, the, the bind load file vfx.txt. So that has now uh, set F9 as the key that will remove visual effects for me. So I just grabbed the Nadarian and I had also set it so I could remove the tag team icon. Do I have tag team trained here? Yes, I do. Okay, so I'm going to fly forward a little bit. I'm going to activate the abilities and then I'm going to hit the key bind once I have them active. Okay, let's go to jellyfish mode. Everyone's favorite thing. Now I'm hitting F9. So I still see them. But I did see that command pop up saying that the, the visual effects are gone. Oh. Uh, so I'm still in the Nadarian mode, but the pink the pink stuff around the ship's gone. So yeah, that, that is definitely working. So uh you know it may take a couple seconds for, for things to go away, it looks like, but yeah. I'm I'm in the Nadarian mode and there's no None of that pink, you know, crap around my ship. And, you know, there's there's versions of this for various ground abilities also. And just remember, like, if, if you do set this key bind up, uh, whatever key you set it to, you need to hit that key at least uh, just one time when you start the game up. So just just it's like the combat log. You have to start it every time you would start the game up if you want to take advantage of it. But that really wasn't that complicated. You know, to recap, I, I went to the SRS website. I hit get a copy of the sheet. Then when I got to their sheet, I went to file, make a copy. And then on the, the copy that I made, I went through, I hit the checkbox to edit it. I set the key that I wanted to use for the key bind. And I went through and selected the abilities that I wanted to remove. So... That that worked really well. Um, that you know, after after I selected the abilities, I turned this check mark off. I did a control C. I, I clicked the box up here that has um all the, the commands in it. I just hit that, did a control C. I went to the STO folder, made a text file, and then in that text file I I uh, pasted the, the contents that I copied from the spreadsheet. I saved it. I went in game, I did a bind load file, uh, and then loaded that specific file. In my case, I named it to VFX, and then it's a text file, so you have to include the .txt. And, you know, I went into combat and I typed that right away and it worked. So uh, that's really awesome that that works. If I hit this again, yeah, I, I don't even see the Neutronic Eddies now. Wow, yeah, that, that is a significant improvement. Do I see tack team? No, nope. the tack team visual effects that are removed. So um, if you activate the keybind like I did while you're in combat, it will take you know a little bit for some of the things to disappear. But the next time you go to activate them, they're just not there. So look, hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, if you're confused about how to load the, the text file, you know, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. Uh, but that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, huge thanks to the folks over at SRS for creating this tool. This is this is really awesome. You know, being able to go through and select what you want to remove. Um, you know, that, that there's a lot of these things that can be a bit annoying, especially I know on ground. Some people are going to want to remove like the agony field generator, ball lightning, lava floor. There, there's some really nice... Uh, changes it here and I oh I forgot to show beacon of Kalis. let me do that real quick I need to reclaim that from the event store 
if I can remember where it is. It's one of those days. Beacon of Kalos. Let me put that there. Okay, we'll see in 30 seconds what that looks like. But yeah, the, the Beacon of Kalos, I know some people are worried about the, the flash being removed in a PvP setting, but I don't I don't think the flash from Beacon of Kalos is really going to have much impact on uh, your PvP performance. Um, I, you know, I, I could be wrong, but I just I feel like it probably won't. You have entered. You looks like our fight got them to notice us. Okay, I got to get closer, so I'm going to go out of the Nadarian mode and move closer to these enemies, so I can use Beacon of Kalos. Yep, the no flash. No flash at all. That's awesome. So yeah, once again, thanks to the folks over at SRS for getting this set up. Link is down below once again if you want to go through and check this out. Because even if you don't care about like the Nadarian visuals, like being able to remove things like the, the tack team, uh, you know, a little icon that'll appear above your ship or a uh, chemo site. You know that that's really huge so uh thanks to srs for going through and converting all of those commands into a more usable format via the spreadsheet but that's going to be it for today so once again thank you to all channel members for the continued support uh, and tomorrow i'll be talking about the new lockbox ship that cryptic announced on the last 10 forward stream uh but hopefully you know this vfx tool really helps you out and makes it so you can uh enjoy the content a bit more because I, I know for me it's going to be a little bit more enjoyable going through some queues without seeing you know two or three of these damn nadarian you know bubbles just taking up a bunch of the screen so once again thanks for watching see you guys next time